Hi friends, I hope you had a wonderful weekend and a marvelous Monday. Have you ever met someone who looks different from you? Thumbs up for yes and thumbs down for no. I bet most of you have. The awesome thing about all of us here is that we are different and unique. We look different, we have different colored skin, different eye color, and have different religions. And some of us might not have a religion at all. And all of this is okay. In fact, it's great because it makes us all special, different, and unique. How do you feel when I say the word hate? Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel angry, sad, scared? Let it sit with you for a minute. Does it make you feel uncomfortable? Would you tell someone you hate them? Probably not. Sometimes people have strong feelings and might react in ways that aren't okay, including adults. How can you react when you have strong feelings to someone who might think differently than you? Now is a great time for your teacher to pause the video. You can walk away, you can breathe, or you can talk to the person with a trusted adult about what makes you similar and different and how that makes you each special. That brings me back to this word of hate. It's a pretty heavy word, and many times we are taught in school and by family not to hate, and instead to be kind to each other, even when we disagree or might not like what someone else does. Here's what makes me sad. In the past year or so, there has been a lot of hate directed at a specific group of people, Asian Americans. You might wonder why. It started when the previous president of the United States, President Trump, called the coronavirus the China virus. Since then, there has been a lot of Asian American hate and hate crimes that have occurred. You might wonder what a hate crime is. A hate crime is when someone is violent towards someone else, usually because of their race or their religion. The person who commits the crime usually doesn't know the person. They just don't like them because of their religion or what they look like. A hate crime happened last Tuesday in Atlanta, Georgia, killing eight people. We have to remember that hate is never okay. Whether someone looks different from us or has a different religion than us, we need to embrace our differences instead of attacking each other in hate. I challenge you this week to say I love you and hug someone each day. I'm going to leave you with this quote from Maya Angelou. Hate has caused a lot of problems in this world, but it has not solved one yet. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week.